Hello, Indicate community, and welcome to Game Audio Life. This is a special presentation I'm partnering along with Indicate. My name is Chase Bathia. I am a freelance composer and technical sound designer, and I'm so happy to bring to you my behind the scenes composing process of how I create game music. So, this goes into anything from the, the actual design and craft, doing prototypes with different games, filling the flow, figuring out different things that I kind of want to experiment with, and all of those sorts of stuff. So, we're going to have a really good time. This is going to be an ongoing series, and I'm very, very excited. I hope you are too. Feel free to ask me any questions that you typically may want to ask or you know, just side chat with. We'll keep it super friendly. And without further ado, I've got a special presentation that I'm going to show. This is a first time, I think, world premiere for this end, specifically for Indicate. So I'm working on a new game with Fancy Fish Games, who also developed the game Aground, and they're working on a new prototype. So I am going to probably write some brand new music. I already wrote one piece of music, and I'm going to go over that and show you how it's kind of already implemented in the game and how it works and how it flows. I'm actually not particularly happy with it, and this is how much of a perfectionist that I am. And so we're going to just kind of create stuff along for the rest of the weeks to kind of make sure that the, this is hitting on the mark the right way. And I think this is the, going to be the best project to kind of do this for. I was vacillating a lot between what it should be and thankfully I have enough to kind of work with. So I'm going to show you the game right now without sound because that's always a good thing to kind of compare. And hopefully you can see my screen. This game is called Hills Farm. I'm going to go with single. Again, this is super early prototype. Be you in the chat. Hello. Welcome. You get to see the world premiere with me. This is going to be so exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. We're going to do, let's do a new game. So um, I wonder if I can just delete this one. Let's, I don't want to, I'm just going to hop right in. All right. So this is Heroes Farm. The long title and the long and short of it is, <sighs> it's, a, it's a super long title. My parents have gone to the farm, but someone has to defend it type of thing. I'll come up with the title right now. I'm sure it's going to come up with me. There it is. No, that's not it. Let's do this one instead. Doesn't mind if we do the little prototype design game that can do. My children, there it is. My children are off to be heroes, but someone has to tend to the farm. And that's Heroes Farm for you right there. So without further ado, let's hop into it. So really, it's just like a farming type of game. Your typical Stardew Valley, maybe your... What's the other game? Animal Crossing type of building type of stuff. And as you can see, like there is no sound. So this is going to be my job. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. <laughs> so these, these folks are typically heroes. And there's a bit of a backstory as I get more familiar with the project. And as you go on this journey with me, you'll be able to feel the, the aesthetic of what's going on. So we got to click the focus. Okay, so we have different hotkeys. We can get certain, I figured out now enough how to like play this game a little bit. So you can chop up things for rocks and to get different plats and pots and stuff like that. But let's go to this little patch right here. So what we want to do is kind of, I have no idea how to farm. I do not have a green thumb. So it is going to be very interesting to kind of see how this kind of goes. We could dug the hole and we press three. Then we have a little water some water in there and then Q will give us some seeds we have some wheat we want to grow some wheat maybe that works maybe that doesn't work and the thing is supposed to kind of give me a little bit of indicators to tell me hey this is going to work this is not going to work maybe we need to hoe it a little bit more okay do that feel it oh we patched it up okay let's dig a hole again okay that's okay it's not bad and let's throw some water in there. Okay, so please, 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 please put the weed in there. I'm just gonna play this demo for just a little bit so you can get an idea of what it's like. And there's way more to this than I'm playing, so I'm really just learning as the prototype is coming about. But I mean, heck, if I can create some good music for it, why not? 
And speaking of that, let's actually listen to the music that I wrote already. Like I said, I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to be creating something completely new today and seeing how it kind of compares to it. Centrosi, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Chat, say hello. <laughs> oh, you like the movement treatment? Yeah, the so the programmers really did a good job with some of these assets. We got more custom assets coming pretty soon. <laughs> you meant the music. Thank you. This is good. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this instrument palette that I made, and then we're going to figure out whatever this game is telling me to do. There's a night cycle that happens, so it should be coming nighttime pretty soon. So if we hover over this, the subtle in indicators should tell me what the heck is going on. So that patches it up. We want to dig the hole. Interesting. Okay. So what's the game about? So the game is about my children are off to be heroes, but someone's got to tend to the farm. And that's the name of the game that I'm writing music for. I'll see, look at that night cycle happening right now. I'm going to continue the music. And really, this is more of like a Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, whatever type of game like that you want to kind of suggest. Just like a farming, like laid back thing, but a little bit more because you got to like fight demons and goblins and there's a old, you got to actually protect the city. It's going to get a little bit crazy just trying to find the NPCs at this point and I'm also trying to plant some stuff so this hard part is really good for the night oh it's getting really dark look at the reflection there that's kind of nice and the water Look at that. I don't want to trade that the market, but I do want to plant that there. Oh, interesting. So we'll plant where it goes. Okay. So it's nighttime right now. This was what we wrote. And like I said, I'm not super psyched about it, but we need to come up with a new title. So I've been thinking of some new titles that are in my phone to come up for the piece. Actually, we could look at the game design document. PTSD, but with the power going out. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm glad I, I clicked out of that then. <laughs> I'm so glad I clicked out of that. We're going to create something completely new. 
And I'm going to keep the instrumentation of it, but I'm just going to come up with a new name for it. And let's read a little bit about what's going on. The art does have to be in the pixel like in Kingdom. It should be pretty. And uh, <laughs> so if this is also this special. <laughs> this so the crops can be planted cleanly. Um, I'm looking for the story part because then that's going to give me the idea. Oh, we don't want to give any spoilers there. Uh, let's see what the crop says. The crop's going to have one word that's going to give me an idea. Oh, look, this tells you how to play. To plant a crop, first clear an area, then plant the place to plot. Place the plot? Maybe place the pot? There'd be any place the whole world to fill each tile. Oh, at least we know how to do this. Well, we're learning as we go. You're like, aren't you working on the game? I don't play it that much. <laughs> I'm actually really terrible at farming games, but I can write the music for it because I know what it's supposed to feel like. And hey, you know what? That being said, I came up with the name of the new title for the track. <laughs> okay, so typically what I have is a sketch track, which is my piano. Then I have a chord track, then I have a different chord track, and then I, this is where I put all my instruments. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete it. Actually, before we do that, we're going to look make a new place to save the project itself. I already wrote one song, so we're just going to come up with another song. And this one's going to be called... When you're thinking about this, I'm wondering... How do I, I want to think about the title that means something to the game. And then also when the soundtrack comes out, how it comes up, how it's going to be referred to later. If you say, Alexa, play this. And some of my tracks, if you look at my past catalog for things that I've done, which is scrolling in the stream, you'll see like some of the names are really ridiculous, but some of them you can actually like look up. It's not all the time that I come up with ridiculous names. So I have to be really careful about what this is going to be. Uh, so when I write pieces, do you not end up using, do you save them for something else or just scrap them? Oh, I definitely save them for something else. In fact, I might be writing music for a Monster Hunter style game that I wrote for a demo for Fancy Fish years ago that they didn't decide to kind of continue forward with. And now I just got that going. So I am super excited about that. Like we always redo them and I'm getting a live orchestra to do a different piece of a game that went nowhere and the developers, you know, we didn't end amicably because they were kind of taking advantage of their artists and their musicians and such. And now I'm getting that piece revamped and played by live orchestra within the week. So yeah, always doing different stuff with the tracks and trying to rebuild them and everything. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, Eplas. Uh, yeah, you could check out some of the Spotify stuff there. So let's come up with a title for this. It's going to be on... Um, I'm just going to name it this for now. Greenhouse Feelings. No, I don't want that. Let's change the name up a bit. I need, I'm really picky about this part, and it's really important. And this is the game design management. If you can't hear structure... need an action so let's go to thesaurus this is technically how i find what i'm looking for Ooh, this looks like a cool name um gardening and this is an I'm looking for things that are kind of the same no those are all same. We're, I don't want it to be too elaborate. Watch this in the garden. Said granite, granite, grassland, orchard, lawn, meadow, plantation. All right, this is where we're going to go. So, the green house, Wikipedia. And so I'm just looking for a specific word that would give it to me in terms of where I can relate it to something.
Okay, this is getting closer. All right, now we're getting closer. So I'm going to do work. I don't want it to be, I need the word to kind of match what it is. When we, when we do a function. Um, actually, this one might give me a better idea. We do hero. Hunt, traveler, you know, the celebrities. Okay, I came up with it. So instead of greenhouse feelings, we're going to call this one greenhouse aces. Cool, we're done with that part. I'm click that out. Okay, so now that I have that, what I'm going to do is create a session file to name it in, and this is important, and you'll see why. Session files. I'm gonna delete all of this right here. It's all going away. All my hard work, bye, peace. And then what we'll do is we'll zoom in, we'll delete all of this to this to this to this to this to, just get rid of all of this here. Uh, we can keep some of these chords for references maybe but we're, what we're going to do is and this is typically the best way to kind of keep the palettes going that way i don't have to redo any instruments or anything of like that I mean, this is very important here we do save instead of calling it copper tones and out of that one we go into our hills farm there's greenhouse aces which i made session files and then all we have to do is just change the title greenhouse aces zero one all right, so what I'm gonna do now is write the music. We stand the organization. <laughs> Which program do I use the compositions? So the program that I use for writing music typically is Cubase. It varies, I can typically use, I know how to use a tracker and a tracker is typically what some composers use from the, excuse me, like early 80s, 90s up to like N64, which is where, you you use a hexadecimal system to play the music and compose the music in that. And so it doesn't look like this DAW. It's just really just system numbers, if that makes kind of sense, any sense at all. I'll be able to kind of show something, showcase something like that down the line. But yeah, Cubase is the way to go right now. I've also worked with the software that Cave Story, the composer, composer used that software called ORG Maker. Uh, so I write music in that too. I can write music in an open, open MPT, Beatbox, which is a really great collaborative software. And there's another one missing. So yeah, FL Studio and Studio One. I use a lot of different music software stuff. <laughs> I'm all over the place. So let's go back to this game. And let's take a look. We're still in the night cycle. Now they were wondering about a night track, but I can't do the night track until I really solidify what this is going to be about. So let's have a let's do a refresh. We'll do a click to load. Let's just go back from where we were. Hopefully that's the night time. Okay, so this is pretty open. Uh, do I want? I'm getting like an upbeat vibe in the key of a certain thing. Okay, I think I got it. What I need to do here is, now I'm gonna start noodling. Okay, so these were our reference chords that we're gonna have, but we're gonna. Uh, 
uh, isn't OpenMPT a tracker? Yes, OpenMPT is a tracker. Great job. Yes, that is what I use. And that is kept, I just did Game Boy Jam 8, and that's what I used for that. It was pretty good. I'm, look, I'm listening for something specific. I know that I'm going to want to utilize, what is it called? So I love this synthesizer here called Xenology. And Xenology is this new thing by Roland. And sorry, my little glasses are getting in the way. It's kind of like hurting my head. Please let this work. Big ol' wiggle McChicken fingers. <laughs> Hey, chat, say what's up to Big O' Wiggle. Yes, music composition stream. Oh, authorization has not been completed. Oh, no, I got to do this again. Okay, I really wanted to show this, but Xenology is not going to work for me today. But it will be up. Really, it was just like a, what is it called? Authorization thing. That's okay. I can use M1. So M1 is by Korg. I wish that... I would just buy Synology at this point just to not have that authorization thing come up in all the time. I'm looking for a synth pad. I need it to be soft. And we're just going to go down the line. Oops, we're not the browser. Yeah. yeah I'm already hitting what I want to hit. It was just that. And I knew it was E minor too. It's the ninth. Oh, we're going to do something really nice with this. Let's make sure that we have to route it correctly. And what I mean by that is I typically have a specific routing setup so that the mix is actually in control. And so I typically put all the synths on the mix down and then I'll show you what that looks like in the end. But right now we're just going to, we're just going to create. Um, we also need to change the tempo. That's super important. So it's at 100. I'm going to probably put it around 85. It's in 3.8. What is the game telling me? It's back on the night cycle. How'd you get on the night cycle? I'm going to reboot it. How's everyone Thursday going along? Y'all having fun? having a good time it's hot over here it's 92 i'm in la i'm getting a little bit of ideas what's going on here uh... let's see Okay, I think I'm getting an idea of this. Starting to cool off here. You don't have a lot going on. So far, that's nice. Chilling, chilling is good. Sunny 85 in Arizona today. Okay, we got some good people. We got some folks all over. I love it. I think it's going to be... I think this is going to be in six, eight. We're going to see how that feels. Yep, that's it. Right off the bat, starting to feel the temperature coming down. Thankful. Heck yeah. Everybody loves cooler temperatures for sure, at least for me. Dolan NYC. Hey, you know what? NYC needs a little bit of dullness. Yeah, I have a lot of action going on. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot going on there. But I'm, ever, I'm glad if everyone's doing pretty good. <laughs> Chat. Thanks for chatting. I appreciate you so much. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Uh, that was an accident. That's going to be nice. But we're going to do it with this one first. 
So to start it off. that that's going to be a random one that happens how am i doing today i'm doing pretty well <laughs> there's so much going on but i'm very thankful for everything that's happening and i'm just i'm just very happy so and i'm happy to be here with all of you too and to see y'all interested in just a typical honestly a work day that i'm doing that I'm happy to share like my composition process and that people are interested in really care like it's as a dream come true for me honestly so i'm very thankful <laughs> Okay, we didn't like the quantization of that. So let's go back here. Yeah, I like the opening. The opening of how these things kind of roll into each other is extremely important. Okay, we're doing that there. See, that's, see that one's a little bit... It's, it's, see how it's too much? Okay, let's do this one here. Okay, so let's check it out with the game. Let's see how it fits. It's a night cycle. I want to be able to change this night cycle thing quite often. Um, maybe ping the developer, maybe if they're around. Cool. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a good night song if anything but we're gonna figure out how it works let's listen to it just pull this forward okay there's that Make sure that this is a. I heard. I heard something here. Let's listen to it again. This game is called Heroes Farm. It's in development. It's an early prototype, so everything you're seeing is not finished. It's it's still kind of in the works, but I'm just kind of getting an idea. I've already written a piece of music for it that's happening for the... Oh, the moon's going down, so it's probably going to be daytime soon. I already written a piece of music for that kind of fits with the, the daytime. I'm not super happy with it, so I'm kind of just figuring out what the game is telling me and like what the mood is. I'm hoping I can nail it with what I'm whatever, whatever I'm writing right now to extrapolate on. As soon as I nailed this four bar loop. Um, I just want to hit that there, that there. Okay, here. Ah, oh, there we go. And then this here. There it is. That's what I wanted. So maybe we can do a transition of that. What if we do, I'm going to check this out here. Is there a website? Uh, this is just the developer website. So this is not, like I said, I've got access to this. It'll be in feedback very soon for, oh yeah, there's actually a website. I can actually post that here. I believe it'll be. The... So for those of you who don't know, 
hopefully I got to sorry. If you those of you who don't know, Heroes Farm is being developed by Fancy Fish Games. And Fancy Fish Games just recently did their biggest success of one of their titles called A Ground. And that is the soundtrack that I'm typically known for and that has like about a three million plays type of player base type of thing. And yeah, this is uh, also published by Whitethorn Digital, who I think BU in the chat is wants to be given the shout out for. She's awesome. She works with Whitethorn Digital, so we super appreciate it. The, co the collaborations. I think that website's going to go there. But yeah, you can follow all of the work on off of what I posted in the chat. Now, what was the, the chord that I did? And okay, I lost my train of thought. We got, we're back at it. So we're gonna do a B flat major chord. B flat seven. We're gonna do a ninth, and we're gonna change it up, and we're gonna just do the. We don't want that. Okay, we're gonna do something like that. So it's one, five. Nope, that's not it. Let's do... Is that gonna sound nice? No, it doesn't actually. Okay, so we have to do an inversion of the B flat major chord. There it is. That sounds nice. So we're taking that and we're taking, we're just gonna take this F major, oh, excuse me, this F minor seven nine chord, paste it there. Okay. Okay, there we go. So this is kind of fun. That's a little late. Okay, so this can't happen so fast. We're gonna have to do this per bar. going to be a little off. I think it's okay to be on Orthodox because me and the developer talked about it at PAX East this year about something being a little bit longer. And I'm okay with game music being a little bit different than it was as long as it fits the game. And that's really what's most important. So what I'm doing is just stretching out these notes here so that it feels right. It's typically, unless I did it wrong, I don't think this is incorrect. So it's the two bars. This is six bars, this is eight bars. So we have a 10 bar, that's pretty nice. We did a lot of work, I always wanna save it. There it is. Okay, so we have our loop. Let's, I'm gonna kind of, stack some things now. Really wish I had that xenology, but it's okay. What is it? I know it's something nice. <gasps> I put snowflake in there. There it is. This is gonna be the melody. So this is a little, it's nice, but I need something. I'm gonna kind of pull this down. Uh -oh. 
mega chill. I love it. Yeah, B, we, we, we kind of keep it. I want it to be farming. Like, it needs to be kind of like summery and breezy and all that good stuff. So we're going to pull in another M1 because it's, it's been so nice to us. We're going to pull up the same type of thing, bright. Um, let's go with vector pad and then make sure that it's on the right channel. And like I said, it's going to be a layer. So I'm actually going to pull. Oh, it's kind of hot, loud. So let's pull it down to nine. Let's see what else we have. Let's uh, duplicate what we have here. Nope. Nope. This is where we just kind of go through. Nope. Nope, I don't want it to be like that. Nope, that's a kit. Right back. Nope. Hmm. It's too lot too much. You know what? I got an idea. This chart angle part was beautiful. Oops. I think this was the chord. No, it was Sticky Pals. Okay, let's listen to this one by itself. Okay, so the problem with this one is that it's too low. just going to add Understand what's going, what's happening here. <laughs> Glad you like it, tree trunks. Um, we're gonna kind of extrapolate some of these notes to happen a little bit before each other. Let's see. We can pull this in a little bit. There we go. Um, this one doesn't have to start right at the money as long as it feels nice to end it. Okay, so it needs to start right at the money then. And then that way, We'll try to end. Okay, I'm okay with that. We did a lot of work, so we got to save it. It's so soothing. That's what, that was my goal. It's like when you're farming. Like, I don't want it to be obtrusive, but I want it to be inclusive to what you're doing and peaceful. Reload the game just a bit. Okay. 
because your plan is to grow your crops and then there's another part to it all right so we did that Exactly. It was exactly what I'm trying to accomplish for the farming game. So now that we have those, we make sure that this this is uh, spawned out. Spread out, rather, panned out. We got a lot of lo low energy here. We're going to EQ this out here. It's nice, but it's, it's going to get in the way later. Just about there. I'll add a little bit of energy back. I think I'm going to have a French horn for like the heroism. It's not in there, so we'll just delete. We'll just move that there. So we're gonna copy the same thing, and the triangle is gonna chime in with it. Now we're gonna create the melody. So, who wants to give me a fake phone number? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you one of Chase with Thea's ultra secret techniques that I've come up with. Uh, the so just so you know, it doesn't have to be your phone number. Obviously, don't do that. Just give me a fake phone number. Obviously, I'm not gonna call this phone number. That's also the thing too. So I just want to make that clear but I'm gonna show you how the phone number works in creating the melody. 555-4444, five, 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 four, 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 four. okay, let's, let's be a little bit more specific. Give me a realistic phone number. I'm gonna need numbers at least one through eight. No zeros, if you, if you don't mind. There's a lot of eights in there. <laughs> eight, four, three, eight, seven, four, eight, seven, two, three. Um. <laughs> Let's see, can I work with one, six, four, three, four, five, one? <laughs> okay, so I got three phone numbers, so here's what I'll do. I'm gonna collo I'm gonna conflate the phone number between Big Wiggle. BU and tree trunks to make the ultimate phone number since those are the three that participated. I think I'm going to use this one here. Okay, I figured it out. So it's going to the phone number is, and I don't need an area code. Sorry, I shouldn't have been more clear. We're going to do. phone number now. My favorite number is 8. We're going to go with BU7 Big Wiggles 5 Big, Big Wiggles 4 and then I like 1 6 Uh, the format you to add where every day <laughs> you prank calling everybody. 
So this is our phone number between Big Wiggle, B-U, and Tree Trunks. 875-4163. Let's see if this works. This is going to be the melody. So the melody, the way that this works, is... That's going to work later on. I'm going to write that one down, too. 8675309. That's going to work in a later format. Okay. I'm going to just briefly explain it, then we'll get back to the soothing mood music. In jazz, they're typically... There are, for when you write a scale, you have a C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C is the octave. From C to C is one octave. So it's C is scale degree number one, D is scale degree number two, E is scale degree number three, F is scale degree number four, G is five, A is six, B is seven, and then C is eight. Eight and one are the same, they're in between. So catchy headphone numbers in a minute. Five eight eight two three hundred Empire. It won't be any of those, I promise. And so in this phone number, typically chord progressions kind of go between what's called four seven three six two five one. That's the called the circle of fifths. And you've heard it a bunch of, bunch of times in music, but you it's, it's irrelevant here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chord progressions out of it. JG went there, the 877 cash now, or the general, <laughs> that one too. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and we're going to try these, this phone number out, and we're going to go with something else to see how the melody plays into it, because each one's a scale degree. Now, I wrote this in E minor, so I'm probably going to write down what the chords are here. I think it was this. Oh, you have to play what you're doing, right? No? You're going to play? Okay, there we go. Write down what we're doing. Nope. They're in Q. Then we did. That's there. Nice. Then we did this chord here. I think that's what we did. Something like that. And then we did, did I delete the F major? There we go. That's what we did. So, da, 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 da. Save. Okay. Indicate, Indicate. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually an Indicate alumni. I've been going to Indicate, shoot, since I start my indie, my whole career. Uh, yeah, since I started my career, I've been going to Indicate. So that's like, what, 2011? Something like that. All right, back to this. So we're in the key E minor, which means the eight will be E, the seven will be D, the five will be B, the four will be G, the one will be E, and then the six will be C, and then the three will be B. We'll change this around to fit. So let's try it out. And this is what the melody will be. I'm write the melody on top here. Make sure that the phone number is up. 875-4163. So let's try it out. Oh, we gotta be able to hear the melody, man. Let's pull it up to negative 4.8. So that's our melody. I think that's right. Eight seven five four one six three. 
So this is, let's try it again. This is eight, seven, five, and this is four, one, six, three. Okay, so we've, we checked it out. <laughs> let's try and play what it sounds like. Love it. Y'all created, y'all just created the, a melody with me. Check that out. So I'm going to record exactly what the phone number is, which is 875-4163. I'm going to keep saying it, and we're going to record it now. Right, and that's it. That's the melody. Talk about interactivity, right? Y'all help me do this. And this is really what the stream was about. This is making it interactive. Y'all coming back and forth with me, telling me what's cool, what's not cool, what is cool. I wish it was cool because it's 92 degrees outside and I'm feeling like a sauna. And here's the melody. That comes a little bit early. Do I hide people's phone numbers in my song? Once I came up with the technique, I, I like for my best friend, Afusa, we did the making evil music for one of the streams I used to do. And I told him, and I just used his phone number, but I, I'm so happy to have this, this idea to come up with stuff because really this is how it, this is actually one of my ways I get over of creative writing blocks. So just since numbers, are related to music and it's math and it's all this other stuff. I just typically kind of work with that. So until I come up with a different technique, this is only the second phone number technique style I've used. I've always talked about it before, but I only use it in specific occasions. So these things are like wind chimes for the farm that you can hear. And there it is. I'm gonna keep it like that. Now, since this is an E minor, I wonder if I have a harmonica in that key. Probably not. Okay, is this is in B. Gonna turn my little volume down just in case it gets a little hot. That's kind of cool. It's gonna work later on. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm gonna keep the idea. keep it close by. All right. Let's see if we can get further on. So I'm actually wondering, this actually might be a good night thing. That was off the top. I just figured I'd play a bass line to it. Let's do that again. Getting close.
Okay, I have something to work with there, so I'm gonna kind of just massage it. Let's get a little bit of water in my system. Hydration is important, you know? Oh, I like that accent off. It, does, it makes you think that it's not gonna happen when it's supposed to. I don't like that part. So this is going to happen a little bit faster here. Okay, it's here. We've got a dev game developers in the house right now. We uh, we're working on anything specific. Are we are, are we are just a fan of games. Okay, that needs to happen a little bit faster. Try this here. I wonder if we have to play that in. Ooh, testing a new demo for Princess Farmer. <laughs> a lot of farming games coming out. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do this one here. That's late. Okay, let's do this one. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so we carry this on. I mostly do music assistant stuff, but I'm trying to get my own gigs. I feel you. It's tough. It's rough, but... It's possible. It just takes a lot of hustle. I like this offbeat here. Um, uh, this is the wrong note. There it is. Just when we get that, you get the feeling. that again the most so freaking fast all right we got a little bit in there we stuck it in there all right let's see if this works this this bothers me here Hmm, maybe it shouldn't end there. Hmm, 
Okay, I don't want it to be climbing down. Yeah, we'll just we'll just hold the note. Yeah. See, it's not giving you the satisfaction of anticipation, which is what I want. Yeah, nighttime. Here we go. Beyond the mountains is a wasted land. You either have to be crazy or a hero to go there. Oh, so you become the hero. Getting some rhythmic ideas. Maybe some accented like top of our stuff. Let's write a counter melody. And the way that I'm thinking about doing that is a couple of different ways. We can go backwards with the phone number. Blow your mind about that one, didn't I? So instead of 875-4163, let's do 3614-361-578. Let's see how that happens. Actually, yeah, let's add yours in there too. No problem. No problem there. We're gonna definitely use yours. Centrosi. Eight seven eight six seven five three one nine. All right, so let's do this retro version first. Five seven. Uh, we're going backwards, right? So we skipped a number. Three, six, one, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, let's do that. Let's see what happens. This is four. Wait, let's do this again. Bring it around. Oh, that's why. We made a mistake. Did we? Yeah, we did. We didn't use the other one. So we cheated, so we're gonna actually use it properly this time. Let's do that. Okay. Do you stream on Twitch outside of Indicade? Yes, I do. I stream on a couple different channels, so, but mostly Gamer Composer is my typical channel. But it's really the same thing I've been doing. I'm just happy to bring it to Indicade. This is fun. This is like doing it live. When I performed live at Indicade last year, that's where I got my shirt. Indicade 2019. I forgot I had it. So hopefully I'll get a new shirt. Right, let's play around with that counter melody. All right, let's let's try to write that. So our phone number is three six one four five seven eight. All right, let's write that counter melody, shall we? So oh, it's three six one four five. Seven, eight, which is one. Okay, paper composer. <laughs> paper. Co oh, sorry, gamer composer. Yeah, like a gamer and then composer. Cause yeah, that was the name I went with. <laughs> All right, so 
four seven five. Nope, that wasn't the number, was it? Three six one four five seven eight. So this one's gonna be. We're gonna figure out where we can put this one in. Let's try to put the first three numbers in there. Three six one. Yeah, let's do that. So there's three six one. Let's listen to it again. Let's make sure that it's lined up. So it's four, four, five, seven, eight, four, five. That's going to be what it is. Let's see if we want to fill that. I think that works. Not on the end though. Let's do it again. Let's try and record that. Oh, we already did this here. What if we go down? Oh, you know what? We can alternate what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you, Central. I appreciate it. Appreciate the follow. Thank you. can alternate some of these numbers to, it doesn't have to be exactly the same and this is me talking out loud in terms of me expanding on the rule and also conflating music theory ideas to meet what the mood is asking for see that just adds exactly what it was looking for yes Centro. See, those are my previous work. It doesn't say it in text typically, but yes, that is all the previous work that I've done. Um, all of that's available on typically like Spotify or YouTube or anything like that. So yeah, check it out. Give me a follow on those. It would be awesome. If you want to support my work, I'm also on Bandcamp. So all of that, all of those soundtracks are on Bandcamp too. Thank you for asking. Okay, that came in a little bit later. I want it softer. Uh, where are they at? I um, believe they could do this here. So band camp. They're all there or on Spotify. I think one of the mods got me for the Spotify. If you could hit me with the link. Oh, we did pretty good in less than two hours. 
I would want to farm to this. I was going to add a horn section. Um, I'm not sure what the horns we're going to do, but we're going to try it out anyway. I'm curious what this ambient violin is. Yeah, this kind of gets a little bit of... I want those to be nice accents, though. Try to add, add that there. This is going to be really subtle. Nope, that wasn't what I wanted. Let's try it again. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. I'm going to keep that. What is your question? Feel free to ask all the questions you need. They do not have to be final. The only time they will be final is if I'm ending the stream, which is not for a little bit. We're going to be typically the show runs about a couple hours. So one to three. One p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Pacific Daylight Time, whatever we're saying nowadays. I have no freaking idea. I play or use music in my streams. Also, talk to you about stream on checking out your work. Um, send me a message. And we can discuss about it. We can uh, talk a little bit more about that. But thank you for asking. I am in the NDK Discord. I'm known as Gamer Composer in there. I think that's going to be very nice when I add a live violin. So the so what I should say is like the art style goal is supposed to be like anime. So I'm going to try and keep this like an anime form. Okay, cool. Definitely, uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, Centrosi. We'll chat to you in the discords. Sounds good. So this is like ambient violin. So this will only happen. Let's do this as a double bar, excuse me, a double time. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out a modulation part because you're not gonna hear this the whole time. And we're gonna expand on it a little bit more and then expand on it a little bit more. So this only happened once. And then we should get to save a new instance of this because we did a lot. And then you'll hear this more arranged.
Okay, this works pretty well. All right. Let's figure out what happens when we use that phone number in a chord progression. So the numbers we have, we have uh, this one. I believe this was, no, this one. Yeah, eight, six, seven, five, three, one, nine. Okay. In this case, the phone number is not gonna work exactly the same. What we can do is utilize the scale degree chords to do such. So I won't use eight because eight is also one. We can do six. We won't wanna do seven unless we do like a major flat seven or something. We're gonna figure that out. So let's try six and seven to see where our transitions. So what we'll do is we'll create a new loop set, two, four, six. That's an odd one. We don't wanna do that. Six is fine. Let's do two for now. For this, did you start as a hobby? Did you move on for portfolio for career? Did your term form is going? Okay, so I have three degrees, and oh man, these glasses are really hurting. It's my just ears. So I have three degrees. One is in audio engineering. I went, I went to that audio engineering school right after high school. I knew I wasn't going to college. Then in 2009, I went to Moorpark College, and then I studied composition. And I did everything I could to be there as long as I could until I realized I had to move on. And then my other friends were moving on way after me and I didn't want to be left behind. <laughs> Even though I just love Moorpark College a lot, just didn't want to go. And then I went on to see some for a couple a couple years and didn't and got my media composition degree. It literally took me two years. So I graduated about, I was in school for seven years, but I was working in the game industry the whole time. I was already shipping games. In fact, even before people knew me in the industry, I'd already shipped a game before I went to my first game conference and so it's all self-taught i learned more about composition but and orchestration and all that other good stuff in school and i learned a lot about more advanced techniques i would say like in upper uni rather than community but i've conflated the two so yeah and i've uh got a lot a lot of schooling <laughs> How many people here enjoyed this school that they went to out of curiosity? I know it's a loaded question, but feel free to chime in if you want. Now we're gonna utilize the chord progression that was given to me, six and seven. In this case, six will be A minor. So let's see what A minor has to offer us. Let's not use that, please. Use this. Ooh. Okay. But that's not even right. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent obvious. <laughs> that's nothing wrong with that. Hobbyists are the most creative because they don't have a lot of restrictions typically. They can just do whatever they want when they feel like it. There we go. I'm feeling something else. I know the chord that I want to go to. Mm. Mm. But I don't want to do that because I know that's where I want to go. I've done that before. What kind of game code do you work on? Unity, Godot, Game Engine, Make, uh, excuse me, Game Maker, Unreal. So that was, so this was six. This is, I believe some, some Chelsea's chord, um, excuse me, some Chelsea's code. And so the code that we're working with, so we got, we eliminated the eight, but we're doing six. We got to do seven. This is going to be quite interesting. So seven would be this. But we're not going to do that. 
Unity and Unreal. Sweet. I love those. Yeah, I work with uh, Unity too. Typically, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be using that for this project at all. But hopefully I'm going to get into more like design code to do like more local implementation so we can see how it is. We're not going to do that seven. And that's typically the seven that would happen. We're going to actually go a different way. So what I'm thinking is doing maybe this. With the, uh, instead of it being there, let's go with G. No, 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 let's take off a lot. Let's find the root first. Okay, now we can add something. Really, what? Do I want that in the base? A. Okay, I have to play this out. Um, I apologize, but this is typically how I work through this. minor very interesting let's do it's not full though there we go it's gonna be interesting let's try it I'm not convinced about the resolve until this last chord here happens Five. Uh, about to get busy here to work every next 30 minutes. Yeah, we're going till three o'clock. So feel free to hang on until then. I understand if you got to bounce, if you got to take off, that's, that's fine. We're just kind of putting in those chords there that we suggested to kind of extrapolate up upon it. <laughs> Let's do the augmented. No, that's not going to sound good. It needs to be B major. Let's put F sharp. No, let's do C. Nope, let's do D. It's almost 3.30. Oh, hmm. are you a mountain time? Yeah, you must be mountain time. Arizona, right? Or something. That might work. Yeah, we're on a uh, Pacific Standard Time over here. So this will be given to a B, D, B, D sharp, D sharp. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I just got, I just came back from Montana. Literally, that's where I was on holiday two weeks ago. Is it two weeks now? Last week. Last week, we were, and the week before that. Montana. Where in Montana are you at? I was in Kalispell and Great Falls. You're in Billings, <laughs> Billings, Montana. My girlfriend's aunt lives there. Yeah, you said Billings, but I know you meant Billings. I haven't been to Billings yet. I was in Bozeman last a couple years ago, then went to Kalispell this first time, and then we were in Glacier National Park, saw a freaking bear, almost died. 
And then, yeah. This is going to be kind of nice. It's very different. Let's do this last one here. Uh, so yeah, I've got, which ones are left to do? I got to visit Missoula and then Billings and Helena. And then I would have seen all of Montana. It's a bit of whitefish. Let's see. Okay. So the last chord that we have to do is a four. And five. No, no, no. Three. Ooh, this is going to be nice. Three is G. Perfect. I want to put B in the bass. Why does it sound awkward? Billings is nice. I've heard it's nice. G minor, J7. G, B, D, let's do F. Let's do that. No, I don't want that. Um, I want it to be nice. That's too ambiguous. Okay, I'm just gonna try this, see what happens. Boop. Okay. There's your chord progression. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on the chords, save what we did because we did a lot of work. Let's see how it functions out in real time. What we'll do is mute this. Come on, mute it. There we go. Okay, but for this one, we're going to change the harp style. So what, what that means is for this, I need to start rendering some things out because we're changing the art style. Excuse me, the harp style. So let's see where this came from. Hopefully it works. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Perfect. Let's save this. Highlight it. Go to MIDI. Then bounce the MIDI. Is it going to do it? Merge MIDI and loop. Oh, maybe it did it already. Okay, that's what I wanted. And then let's pull it down here. Put that one there, put that one there. And then this is said merged. Do the same thing for this one. Select Soleil Solo. Merge the MIDI and loop. Okay. That one's there, 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 there. What we do is we'll take off the art for that one. Take off the art for this one. And now they should play their respective notes.
interesting. So it went on to do something funky. And we're going to just cut that. It did it the right way. So we'll just double loop it. And then it should just match it at the beginning. So we'll just make, mark this as this. Part one, part two. This one picks too hard. Oh, interesting. This one stopped working. Oh, you know what? It changes the articulation. That's all. I'm going to make sure that the articulation is here. Is this the one? Yep, that's the one. So now we go here. I'm going to have make sure that the this is correct for its arpeggiation here. I think we say solo. Merge MIDI in the loop. Take all the chords out. Pull this back in. Then we take this off. So it's not doubling itself. And then this one, we're going to do another one, but I'm going to change the arpeggiation. I'm thinking I'm going to go a little bit crazy and do 20. Let's, I just saw the last dance. So let's do Michael Jordan 23. And I'm going to listen to what it sounds like. remember that being the case. Let's listen to that again. Okay, we got this one. Gotta put these up again. So let's do all of that. Crazy, right? Was to complain every time I, I was guarding, I'd never stop. <laughs> I'm glad I'm achieving my goals over here. This gives me an idea. This will be one part of it. So 
we like that. And we're going to save that, and then we're going to change it again. Thank you, Epilas. Eplas. Super appreciate you. Let's see. So we're going to do this one here. This is eighth notes. And then we'll do this one here. And it should turn out the same. Just gotta turn it off, and then we'll turn it back on to finish up what we were doing. So this will come, come up from this. Any new retro games that be you? Why you ask me? Why you ask me on the Indicate one? You know I got new retro games, um, and I'm actually it's funny because I'm gonna save to do the debut with you because I don't really have a platform to do that with anymore. So I was hoping to collaborate with you on your channel on BU TV to see if you want to do debut those retro games together. And that would be super cool. But yes, I do. I'm not going to share them here because that is not the focus. But yes, I do. I got some really good pickups in Montana. I got like three games for like under $6 and really good ones too. So I was like super excited. So this is a, I'm going to create a little small transition here. Let's see if that works. Yep, that works. There it is. Y'all saw me play it live perfectly. I'm excited too. I'm excited too. I'm excited too. All right. Let's see if we can tighten this one up. Oh, nope. 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 That's not it. Let's uh, tighten this up here. Cool. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That's what I call butter and grease. There's that transition. Wait, what's doing the, are these doing those burp? Those doing those burps? I don't like those burps. Let's move those up. Let's see. Nope, nope, that's not an undo. <laughs> It is a mood. It is a mood. Nope. There we go. I don't mind it being that. Listen again. There we go. That one gave me goosebumps, so that was the right move. I got goosebumps like right up my shoulder here. Let's turn it down a little bit.
Command-C is my most used shortcut at this point. And it's funny, because Command-C is my use. use. Actually, com Control-D is my... <laughs> nope, nope, nope. So we're gonna have this part loop at least four times because it feels good. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna make it up in the second part. So when I put one more loop there, we're gonna jump here. Um, we're gonna go back here. Yo, those chords worked out super great, didn't they? It's amazing. So we went from just to kind of like give context again we went from this just the chords here it's the artist's life for me it's just a nice normal sequence i love it and then it's like, okay, those are nice. Then you orchestrate it, right? And don't worry, I'll add a bass line to it. Let's do this one here. So we gotta change this one to this one. Double these ones again. Put that there. And then this one is what? This one was supposed to be the 16th notes back on track. But at that one's at 33. Let's see what it is at this one for sure. Okay, that's cool. Double it again. And I'm wondering, I'm just curious though. If that's at 30, let's put it at 12. Let's see what it is again. And let's mute the triangle. So it's too low. Remember, we want to put this all up. It's, it's not lively enough. Let's go back to 32. Let's do 33 for Scotty Pippen again. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we'll solo that and we'll keep it. Merge and loop. Thank you. Oops. Oh, now you're going to make me do all of this. Okay, that's how you want to be. Nope. Come on. There we go. Sweet. Okay, now we got that. Got that chimed out. I love this though. Ooh, could just have. Have that or let's go, Michael Jordan forty five. We'll have this harp double this. So let's do that. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna sound good, but we're gonna try it. 
Worth a shot. It's coming along pretty well. Let's delete. What is what in the world? What is this? Oh, I don't know what this did. We gotta redo that. We did a bad thing. We didn't solo it. Gotta solo it in order for this to merge only that part. And then it will do just that part. Then we don't have to do any extra work. Just pull it on down to the harp. Then we just come on down to the bass and let's get the bass going. We're gonna rock this out all the way. Oh, it's playing double. like cooking food b b does a lot of s cooking streams she knows how what this is like so when you're cooking you're like oh this is gonna be so good that's kind of like what it feels like right now that when i'm playing this bass line let's uh, tighten that up Why are you cutting short? Oh, because you're cutting short. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't give you the third line. You're gonna have to fill it in with your, your mouth, sing along. Right now, cooking, whipping. I need that line to ring out. There it is. Yeah, when I start singing it, then I'm hearing it. That's exactly where I wanted that bass line to hit too. like a minute and 40 in music we're coming into the, close to the end of the stream but i just want to play this music with the game so it's in context Time to play the game. So what y'all tell me, do you think I, I got close pretty close? Oh wow, there's a lot of stones that came over on my way.
would you play Heroes Farm? If you would you recognize Heroes Farm if you heard the music? Epless Wood. I'm glad. I'm super glad. Found a hidden grove song. Interesting. I mean, you know, just gardening. There's the loop. It was super great. It's atrocious, said it. Wow, we got a lot. We need to build a house. So the only way you get your green bar up is to build a house. I had to be told that in order to figure that out. Trade in the market. Um, we need to figure out what the house would cost. Ooh, look at this. Something grew. Inspect the coal. Inspect the crop. It didn't make it. Oh, no. We let it die. See? B, you had said something good on her streams. It said, take care of other people's plants so that you're responsible. <laughs> I filled that one. I totally killed that plant. I'm so sorry, plant. We can't build a house. We can't build energy. But yeah. It's missing a little bit more, but next week when we start this again, we'll be able to kind of... We'll be able to continue a little bit more. I'm getting low on energy. I wonder what's gonna happen when I run out of the green bar. Is he gonna pass out? He doesn't pass out from exhaustion. I thought he was gonna pass out. I know, poor plant. <laughs> Luckily we have a lot to do. Ooh, we're in eight springs. It was a great work to today, huh, B? Thank you. I'm glad we got both sections of that, too. see if it worked but it may or may not have we'll see
It's so soothing. <laughs> Thank you, Applause. Appreciate you. Those are nice accents that we can have there. That hold animation. Interesting. I'm gonna keep that in mind when I have to do the sound effects. All right. So, a little bit of housekeeping. Got to give a shout out to everyone that's in the chat. Thank you. Shout out to the mod, Eplas. Shout out to B Centrosi. We had some other good folks up in the, in the chat a little bit earlier. Tree trunks, big wiggle my chicken fingers, and we had Candy Bomber Kate who was in here a little bit earlier too. Hopefully, maybe they're still checking things out. We're gonna go all the way to the top to see what things are about here. And yeah, it's pretty cool stream. I'm so thankful that y'all came to like roll with me and everything like this. It's super great. You've been rolling with. Chase Pathia, hosting Game Audio Life on the Indiecade channel. And speaking of the Indiecade, we got a couple of different and a little bit of announcements here. Indiecade has a Kickstarter. Woo! Anywhere and everywhere. So if you don't mind, go ahead to Kickstarter. Check out the Indiecade stuff. They are doing some awesome stuff. I'm an alumni, so I'm super thankful to kind of just be on this platform and sharing this really cool behind the scenes process of game music with you. But yeah, go ahead and show them some love. And if all you got to do is just kind of, you know, check it out, share it with your friends, tell your friends and family, share it with the dog. Your dog can tell your friend, your cat, she or he may not tell the friends, but yeah, <laughs> it's, it's super cool, but I really appreciate you. I will be back next week. Same time same channel in the meantime we're shutting it down boys gotta get my little let it die shades going on and play me out music catch you soon have a wonderful day i can't see anything <laughs> bye